we are back. Back, back, back. How have y'all been? My we finna family. I pray that y'all have been ha have been having a wonderful if you're in school school year so far that your fall has started off great we are a couple weeks away from thanksgiving so you know i'm just hoping that everybody has been doing well it is so good to be back talking to my wife and the family and of course we had to start the relaunch off right by doing our very first card chat of We Finna Season 2. How y'all doing, babies? Okay, so listen, so much has been going on. I'm not even about to pretend as if my schedule has lightened a little bit. I'm not about to pretend. I'm still in, in college in my, in my um, first fall semester at MSU. Still there. We gotta, I get, gotta give you an update about that. No shot against the school, but y'all, this semester... We're going to talk about it. But I'm still on the path to becoming the Morgan Bear, of course. Um, but, yeah, no, like, it's been a lot happening and a lot has transpired. And so we just have to have a conversation, okay? And um, so that sit down and chat video will be coming soon. Okay, let me kind of give y'all some tea because, of course, as you can see, we're not letting go of the car chats. It's just not going to happen. This is where I spend a lot of my time <laughs> as far as, like, back and forth navigation outside of work. So, we're not letting the car chats go. If we got something to talk about, we're going to talk about it. We feel the family. Okay. Um, but I'm thinking that maybe I want to have it more structured. I don't know if the more structured... Um, like aspect will be better and by structured i mean like i'm actually coming on and we're talking about actual planned discussion right not just off the rip whatever i'm going through just check-ins and things like that um and so i'm going to see how that goes within the next few days because you know these are weekly episodes so you're going to get a weekly episode however there are new things that you're going to be seeing on my channel and i am unsure of whether or not i want to announce them or if i should hold them No, let me just i guess I, I could just talk about him so of course you this this season you're going to see more my mama on my channel and we have a great um what is it called a great video coming up soon um good content coming up soon i just have to do some investigating because i have to find some advent calendars because we're going to do the 12th days of christmas and so you're going to be able to see my mom her and i interact all that she's going to be on the channel this season um I'm traveling. I'm going on another road trip to Indiana in a couple weeks, which is the weekend of my birthday. Um, I'm going up there for IEEE, so with the PCFI. So I'm going on another road trip. So you all will go with me on that. I just came back from Florida, so you'll see that vlog up and through here somewhere. Um, went to Pensacola, Florida for the very first time. So you'll see that up and through here. Um, the family that I went down there with, the Durant family, I mean, they were just lovely. But we'll talk about that in the vlog, so I don't have to put that all here. But, um, yeah, so, I mean, it's just a lot. I'm currently on my way to lunch, okay, because your girl is hungry. It's not even 1130, <laughs> but I'm hungry. Um, so, what else? What else? What else? What else? Oh, should I have parked this way because the sun? Um, so, yeah, and then, okay, so let me park and then we'll talk. All right, so, um, put it in the back. So, yeah, oh, I gotta get some gas. Ah, not us starting off, <laughs> not us starting off the second season. Like, girl, break the cycle, okay? Go and get the gas in for hand. But anyway, whoa, things that you can like see coming to my channel. So, look, so. Early in um, last season, there was a clip that I did. It was a so satisfying clip, right? And 
um, in the clip was me going through the car wash. And so I put like, like, like music to it and like show me going through the car wash or whatever. And it was just like a so satisfying clip. And that clip did numbers, right? It, that clip did numbers where, wherever I posted it, that clip did numbers. And so it's, it's, it wasn't even an intent for it to do numbers. It was just, and by numbers, I'm talking about compared to the numbers of my channel. Okay. So let's be realistic. <laughs> so, so like, it wasn't even that it was intended to do that. It's just that people like so satisfying videos. I, I will be up till like one or two in the morning just watching rug cleaning videos, watching car detailing videos, all of that kind of stuff, right? So people just like satisfying videos and especially when it's added to music. So I'm the type of person where I even love ASMR. So this season is going to include me trying out different things, okay? Again, this is a We Finna channel for those who are just joining us for this season. The purpose of the We Finna family and the We Finna channel is We Finna means we are going to, right? That's the, I guess, um, ebonic way of saying we are going to. It's just We Finna. So that means we're going to try new challenges. We're going to eat new foods. We're going to go new places. We're going to explore just the day to day life of me. Like, We Finna do it. You understand what I'm saying? Like, whatever we want to do, we finna do and so that's the point of this channel and it's mainly you know done because it's to break me out of the shell that i've been in not because i've been sheltered or whatever but it's literally just because i am not a risk taker <laughs> like if you know anything about me i'm just not a risk taker i like to keep it simple let it just be what it is we don't have to add to or take away just keep it normal um but i'm not a risk taker one thing that i will never be a risk taker on i don't care who you are is roller coasters so we're not going to do that on this channel that's just not the type of adventure that we're that we're gonna that we're gonna do i'm not a roller coaster person that just is what it is i do i do uh like water rides that's it maybe if i go to disney world that'd be a different story but uh, solid roller coasters that six flags kings dominion i'm not doing it bush gardens i'm not doing it okay <laughs> take me to a carnival okay i'm not getting on no carnival rides but i will play the carnival games you understand that's where i'm at right and i've never been to a carnival so here on the we fit family we finna go to a carnival you understand what i'm saying that's what this is about so uh, it's about me taking risks it's about me doing different things and so this channel is going to explore different things doing asmr videos uploading videos of me learning the guitar uploading videos of me learning a um asl american sign language um hello y'all um <laughs> so yeah so i'm in the process of doing quite a few things and that's what's going to be on this channel but i am not like all you not all you but some people who just post the video after video and did not create a playlist like create a playlist so i can go and find all the asmr videos or all of the so satisfying videos and not have to look at every video on your channel okay so i will be providing playlists for you all we are not getting rid of the car chats i'm sorry if there's an issue with you in the car chats just don't you know it's going to skip past the car chats that's all right i have no problem with that but um i think that I'm going to do the playlists, whereas, you know, like, I, and I'm going to do, like, everyday vlogging type of situations. You're going to go with me on that. However, the activities we do, they will be separated out. Anyway, like I was saying, going to see my mom on our, on our channel as we do the 12 Days of Christmas. Um, and so, yeah, we are back. We are here in season two, y'all. We last left off in, in, in the month of August. We left off in the month of August because I hadn't even started school yet. So we left off in the month of August. We are currently almost at Thanksgiving. It is November the 16th. No, it's November the 13th. Not my watch being dead. Okay, hold on. It is November the 13th. So, yeah, it's been a little minute. But we are back. I'm still a creature of habit. Oh, 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 oh. I almost forgot to tell y'all. I since the last time we have talked, I have started my cash stuffing journey. Okay, I was talking to y'all previously. I think on last season about how I follow Taylor budgets and I follow like baddies and budgets. Um, I follow uh, budget with Bay, Snow Gardener three hundred seven, Black and Blue mama's budgets 
so I can't remember all their names, but I follow quite a, quite a few budgeters on, and they and just constantly watching their videos and watching their content motivated me to to save and keep my savings. You understand what I'm saying? Like before, I was saving but baby if i wanted something to do like if I, if i wanted to do something that savings money i'm taking it back out and i'm gonna do what i want to do but watching their channels and the success of putting the money in and leaving it there has triggered something in me that's like i don't care what the sense of urgency is i'm not touching that money unless it's absolutely necessary now i have an unexpected expense coming up soon and it's probably crazy because it's like how's it unexpected if you know about it well i didn't know about it when i first started the savings journey but now that i know about it it's like okay i have something to put that savings towards so um i do have an unexpected expense coming up around around the time of the road trip right yeah so i will have it to be able to you know do that and then when i come back i'll just have to work towards building that savings back up which i'm going to do quickly because i love having that savings there um but of course i've started my emergency fund i will not be touching that so that'll still be there even though i'll be using some of my other savings to um put towards what i have to put towards so i say all of that to say that you can expect to also see some cash stuffing videos. I'm not going to break down my budget on this channel. I'm not breaking down how much I make, how much I pay in my tithe. I'm, I'm not doing that on this channel. But I do want to take y'all along when I do my savings challenges. So when I do my savings challenges, when I unstuff my savings, all of that kind of stuff. So you will see also um, that journey as I'm, as I'm going forward um and so yeah so let me get in here so that i'm not late returning from my lunch and i will be back when i got the goods all right so i'm headed back now i got the goods um but i did want to talk about this one thing right um it's just that y'all okay let's get this together one thing that I think that we should be mindful of and aware of when we um, just are, are living our lives, period, is to just be integral. You know what I mean? Like to have integrity and a decent moral character. Ooh, they're putting an island cuisine like up the street and around the corner from my job oil and filter what does that mean what does that mean guys oil and filter this is the first time I have ever seen that on my dashboard let me see what I'm supposed to go get oh I'm supposed to go and get oh wow y'all that's insanity I'm supposed to go so the thing up here on my I've never, as long as I've had this car for two years, I've never seen any type of notification about going to go and get, um, like, maintenance. Like, nothing. I've never, besides tire pressure low, I've never seen anything about maintenance in my car for two years. So, I have up here a, a sticker that's, you know, like when you go and get your, your oil change or whatever. And the sticker says that the next date, that I need to get my oil changes at 93 miles and 93,034 miles. Yes, my car is from 2017. It's an old baby. It's okay. Uh, 93,034 miles, right? But it doesn't say until December the 24th. We're not even at November the 24th. And I got a notice on my dashboard saying that I need to go and have my oil and fit filter maintenance done. But don't worry, because this uh, uh, cash stuffing budgeting that I've been doing, I have a transportation uh, 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 fund that I can dip into to take care of this. So I might go get this done this week sometime. And my dad take the car. Because my dad, he does all my car maintenance. <laughs> Real talk, even when I had low pressure in my tires, I said, my tire, my tires say tire pressure low. And he said, okay. He said, the next day, he said, go out there, check your tires, make sure everything okay. I went up there, baby. I ain't had an issue with my tires since. My dad handled it. So, he usually handles everything with my car. I love him so much. Thank you, Dad. Um, So, I might let him know about that. 
<laughs> let him know about that. Give him the funds and say, here you go. You know, my car is, you know, it needs to be maintenance. But that's so crazy. In two years, it's the first time I've ever had that happen. Hey, you all we for the family. Happy Sunday. I hope that you all are doing well today. It is currently 1.37 on a good Sunday um, afternoon. Hope y'all went to church this morning. Got y'all a good word to help you navigate through this week. Um, our word this Sunday was a fortified city. And um, talked about, you know, as Christ refers to, to us being the light of the world as a city on a hill that cannot be hid and how um, we um, should be that fortified city because like that light is on us. That means we are a target. Like, we, we are like a target and uh, life is going to happen to us. But just as in the Old Testament, how they would fortify their cities to protect against the enemy, that we need to fortify ourselves and put on the whole armor of God so that we're able to stand um, against the wiles of the devil and against the darts um, of the wicked. So that um, was our lesson today. Um, so let me know down in the comment section. Um, today is the 19th. What was your church's sermon today? I'm currently on my way to hear my little brother Nicholas um, preach today. He's the youth speaker for my older brother, Daniel's church, my blood brother. Daniel's Church. I'm going to go and support them and support him at their service. And um, then after that, I'm going to hurry up and jet from there because we have a five o'clock service tonight. So I want to make sure that I get back in time for our church service this evening and also grab something to eat because I'm already hungry. Um, but I'll probably just chew on this gum until after service. But I pray that you all doing well. What do y'all usually do on Sundays? We usually have our morning service, well, our Sunday school. Hope y'all still do Sunday school Christian education. Okay, it's good to go to Sunday school. Christian education, as we called it when I came up with Sunday school. Um, and we, we just got to learn about the Bible. So on Sunday mornings, our Sunday school is at 930. And then our morning service is at 1030. Um, so Sunday school is from 9 to 10. We get a little break, a little reprieve, and then we come back at 1030. And then we're usually out by 1230, 12, between 12, between 1215, 1230. Um, and so, yeah, and we're virtual right now. So that kind of makes it a little bit easier. Um, but I can't wait until we get in our building. Uh-oh, I hear something. I hear a siren. Okay. I don't know where they are though. Are they coming this way? I can't see. Okay, it looks like they're coming this way. Um, but what, I don't remember what I was saying. Oh, what do y'all usually do on the Sunday? So after we get out around 1230, I usually just, well now since I'm in school, I'll probably like take a quick nap and then um, end up going to going to sleep. Mm -mm, no. Take a quick nap and then end up waking up when I from my sleep and then doing my homework. And then after I do my homework, then I'll like chill for the rest of the night. But like on a Sunday, what do you all do? Hopefully, you have not exchanged brunch for church service. Hopefully, you are going to church and then going out to eat. <laughs> like get to church. Um, but yeah, and like the the great, great thing about social media is that there are some churches who are still in the virtual setting. Like, and I'm not talking about they stream live from the church, but I mean like they're actually on Zoom and like, oh, I know a couple churches that are still doing that. Um, and then there are others that do do live stream, but it's nothing like being in church among the, the gathering of the saints, right? It's really a beautiful feeling where you could just come together amongst like-minded believers everybody you know churches are going to have their woes just like every other thing every other body of anything your job going to have their woes your family is going to have your like church is going to have their woes too um so you know but i enjoy gathering with the saints 
Um, but yeah, so I'm about to go to the service. I am hungry. Let me pop some gum on. Y'all, this video probably still shaky. As you can see from season one, I still ain't fixed it. <laughs> I still have not found a resolution. I thought this little no, but for real, this little thing I got from Timu is it's holding up. It's doing it's doing what it's supposed to do. Hope but hopefully y'all don't hear any shaking. If y'all do, I try to fix it. Oh my gosh, y'all look. So for a while now, I haven't eaten Popeyes because Popeyes, one time I got Popeyes, tore my stomach up. Tore it up. And so, I don't do that. Once you mess my stomach one time, I'm, I'm good on you. But I just stopped going to that particular location that I was going to. I started going to another location. Because I'm like, yeah, no. But for a while, I didn't do McDonald's for that reason. But I decided, you know what? I'm going to go back to McDonald's. I mean, I'm Popeyes. Popeyes. If I've been saying McDonald's all of this time, I mean Popeyes. Popeyes. So, um, I stopped going to Popeyes for, for a little bit because I was like, you know, once you mess me up, I'm straight. But then, I had found, um, another location. So, I was like, alright, well, I'm gonna start going back, but I'm just not gonna go to the same location I went to before. And the location I go to now, they're really good. Um, but y'all, they have started making the their their wings their chicken come in flavors oh my god like oh my god they made their chicken come in flavors now you probably shouldn't even be in that lane you should be over here because the gas station right there they riding on on, on on two flats trying to get to the gas station oh they may be going to this tire shop right here but yeah so I get the honey barbecue um, wings at Popeye's. Oh! Now, if you don't remember, I don't eat KFC. Oh. But the KFC that I used to get, um, I used to get KFC. And it was, oh, they was about to run that red light till they seen that cop. <laughs> Almost got caught. Almost got caught. You did. Um... So, what I was about to say. Oh, so KFC used to have this chicken, this flavored chicken. And I think, I want to say it was barbecue. It was the best chicken. I would get it all the time. Then they stopped selling it. So, I didn't, I don't eat at KFC anymore because that's all I would get. And now, y'all, Popeye's. Popeye's and that honey barbecue. Because I had asked my one of my lady, the ladies I call one of my older sisters, I had asked her to get me buffalo. But she had brought barbecue back to the car. And I don't know because when she had got out the car, I said, I want buffalo. She sent one somebody that went in the store with her back to ask me what flavor I want. And I said buffalo. And I still ended up with barbecue. So don't get me to lie. I don't know. But it wasn't bad because the barbecue that I did get was really good and so i've kind of been stuck on that for a little bit and also the frosted lemonade drinks so once i leave this service i think i might go grab that so that i can hurry up get back home eat and get settled to tune into service tonight but yeah so that's all i have to say for now you might see some clips of the service if i if i get there in time i'm already late service started at 1 30 it's 1 51 and I got maybe about like 20 more minutes to drive because they are a ways out there. So if I get there, I might post some clips of Nicholas preaching if I feel like it. Y'all, when I get in church, I am not a flick it up type of person. I'm just sorry. If you expect me to go live, like if you are counting on seeing an experience live through me, just expect that you're not going to see it because because I am really a live in the moment type of person which is also why it's been hard to really vlog when I'm doing other things because I'm a very in the moment kind of person like I don't want to have to set up a camera in order for you to see so you either you get what you get when it comes to like that's all I can give you you really do get what you get if you in Baltimore, you know that this Popeye's at the corner of New Orleans, uh, no, the corner of Orleans and Broadway, baby, you stop there at your own risk. That's just Popeye's. You don't just, you just don't even do it. Like, you just don't even do that, Popeye's. You just let that go on here to be what that is, unless you absolutely just have to go there. But, um, yeah. So, 
anyway let me finish driving you may or may not see some clips i don't know but i love y'all and i will talk to y'all There's blood, there's blood, there's blood. Hey, we for the family. On my way, just leaving class. On my way home, we have two more weeks in this semester before we call it an end. So I just came from work. It's currently 6.30. The class is supposed to end at 8.15, but we just went over our final, like our final grade, which is going to be our exam, which is worth two thirds of our grade. So yeah, campus is quiet, but it, it is cold in these Baltimore streets. I'm just so ready for it to be over. Um, there's a lot that I want to talk to y'all about. Sorry about the shakiness. Sorry about the shortness of breath. <laughs> Sorry about the angle. But because I have not picked up my camera to vlog in a long time, I forgot my tripod at home. So you, you are currently in my hand. But I do my first cash stuffing to tomorrow. It might be tomorrow. Um, and I keep having issues with my Verizon service. Y'all with Verizon, y'all got an issue with your phone because my phone keep doing this little SOS thing and I'm like, so I didn't pay for my phone outright. My phone is paid for. Sorry about the lighting. Ain't nothing I can do. I'm outside. My phone, um, I paid off my phone. No, okay. I did not, I did, when I first got my phone, I did like, the payment option so like i didn't pay off at one time is what i'm trying to say so my phone is almost paid off i only have like 258 dollars left on it which is going to be paid by the end of this year because i'm tired of this high bill so i'm trying to pay my phone off by the end of this year so it could change my, the amount of my bill and um now i feel like now i'm at the point my phone been fine all this time i don't drop my phone my phone is solid it's cool now all of a sudden it want to be acting up i'm not buying a new phone i will pay this phone off and switch my service before i let verizon jip me out of getting another phone like heck out of here so i keep having this sos issue with my phone so i need to get that resolved but for right now i might do the cash stuff in either today or tomorrow it depends on by the time i get to this car if my pay has come through because obviously we cash cash stuff each pay so you have to wait for the pay to hit in order for you to be able to cash stuff so um if it has done that by the time i get to my car then i will cash stuff tonight because then i can go to the bank and get the money out but if not then we will cash stuff tomorrow and the video will be out on wednesday instead of tuesday which is cool um like, ain't no problem with that. Hey, babes. Happy, um, Tuesday. Currently on my way to get some lunch. I hope y'all have been doing well. It is certainly, like, so rainy out here. Um, just wanted to, you know, kind of give an update. I, I had an appointment, right? And, um, ladies i just want to say just stay on top of your health and and men too because men kind of seem like y'all really don't be doing it <laughs> but ladies just stay on top of your health right um you want to make sure that you're just taking care of yourself and you know you're going to see your 
um, primary care physician, you're going to see your OBGYN, you're going to your dental appointments, okay? Because what a lot of people don't realize is how much of an effect even your, your dental, your teeth, your gums, the health of those play in, you know, so many other factors of your body, like you just never know everything is connected so just take care of your health if something is not seeming right if it's not um you know it doesn't seem like it's going the way that it's supposed to then by all means guys go and get it checked out like seriously like i'm like it's not a game go and get it checked out um it's better to be safe than it is to be sorry and you always want to make sure that you are doing what you need to do to maintain the best health that you can. Okay. I don't know why I started talking to y'all when I'm about to go in the store. But to maintain the best health that you can. Because at the end of the day, you really only get one life. So you have to make sure that you're taking care of, the, of your temple. Like seriously, take care of your temple. Um, I had like a little scare with my breast or whatever. And, you know, thankfully it wasn't a mass. Thankfully it wasn't cancerous or anything like that. But some people may think, oh, I'm young. It can't happen to me. And the, the reality of the situation is it, it doesn't have any pics. Like if you if you look at St. Jude and they may not have like breast cancer, but cancer does not have any pics. It literally will affect whomever it wants to affect. And so does not matter your age stay on top of yourself um get you a physician that listens to you that you're not just you know another check in their bank account you know what i mean they actually listen to your concerns and because my um doctor when i reached out to them i reached out to them like last week sometime and they were like look we want to get you in as soon as possible and so the next available time they let me come in and then when i went to that appointment and they wanted to schedule me for something else i called to try to schedule and they were like okay yeah so somebody canceled today we have a 1 30 we can get you in today and so i was able to go that time that day and get that appointment so you 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 want to make sure one that you are you are when something's not feeling right you are taking those steps to go and get that checked out and make sure that you have physicians and doctors who care I, you don't understand how many times i have changed doctors not because I'm a difficult patient, but literally because if I come to you and I tell you something's wrong with my body, I don't expect you to just be like, oh, well, it's just this. No, check. <laughs> like, I want you to check. I'm not paying this insurance for nothing, right? Go ahead and check. And thank, thank God that I do have good insurance through my job. But go ahead and check and, you know, look out for me. You understand what I'm saying? Because they won't look out for you with this check. So since you're here getting it, collecting this check, you might as well work, okay? So I'm just saying all that to say that it's all about our health. And if you know me, I began this thing called Fit for the Faith. And we're going to talk about that at, at one point. And I started it maybe last year, possibly the year before. It might have been the year before. Because we just want to make sure that our temples, we are taking care of our temples, y'all. Okay. Um, long story short, they tell me that I need to cut out caffeine. <coughs> I don't even know where that cough came from, but it was just crazy that it was just like the timing. <laughs> because, uh, Starbucks. If you, you go to see why this is such, based on the video um, that I'm going to be posting next about my cash stuffing journey, you're, you're going to see why. I, I guess my body just automatically coughed when you heard that because getting rid of caffeine. But I got to do what I got to do, ultimately, because my health is important to me. And so if they say no caffeine... <laughs> I'm gonna have to do no caffeine. That's gonna be tough, guys. It really is. But let me jump in this store real quick. I will be right back, y'all. Hold on. This is family. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> that was interesting.
сейчас. Come on, musician. Cheeks, clown. Wrinkles. Love. Heart. Heart. Maybe the spread was spread today. Okay. I'm not going through everything. <laughs> Say hi to my vlog. <laughs> Say hi to my vlog. <laughs> Say hi to my vlog, y'all. All right. Say hi to my peoples. There you go. Mama. That's bro. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Um, Alex. <laughs> Say hey to my episode, y'all. Say hi. How y'all doing, family? There it is. There it is. There it is. Happy Thanksgiving. How y'all doing? No. Okay. <laughs> Look at just like the cluster of just. <laughs> like, you like the boot section. We're currently in Burlington. Hey babes, happy Black Friday. I hope you had an amazing Thanksgiving yesterday. If I didn't wish you happy Thanksgiving in my earlier videos, happy belated Thanksgiving, I don't know. But I'm currently in Burlington Coat Factory. Don't mind my hair, y'all. I need to go back and, and reshape it and cut it and but we we gonna be we gonna be okay today. Okay. But um Y'all, like, I'm in this store. Let me explain something to you, okay? Don't judge me. So, I just left out of Ross and spent over $200. Did y'all see the budget, though? Like, did you see the budget that I had? I blew the budget. Like, it's just, it's just blown at this point. And I'm currently in Burlington trying my very best to not do anything else. I'm going to wait real quick. My sister and my brothers, their kids. Okay, did I tell y'all? Have I told y'all about the, the caffeine thing yet? If not, I will insert a clip about the caffeine thing. I have struggled so hard today to not go to Starbucks because I can't have caffeine anymore. And it's been difficult. I just looked at a belt. A belt from DKNY costs $58. You, you understand? I don't have a problem spending that, but spending that on a belt is kind of weird. So I'm not going to do that. But the purses are beautiful. Like, come on. Come, come on. This is not fair. This is not fair. But see, for those of y'all who don't see, um, y'all see the savings challenges and everything I'm doing. This is why we save. Because you get to Black Friday, you do all of that kind of stuff. And then, you know, all that you have saved up. For Black Friday, you can spend on Black Friday. So next year is going to be different. But as y'all can see, I already did not have a shopping budget. And so the, the money that I spent today has blown beyond the budget. And I don't even want to begin to calculate what I spent at the store before that. That was like 150 For the God. <laughs> but the good thing about it is I have learned to not spend myself in the red. I've learned to not spend myself in the red, so it's not as if I spent what I didn't have. I just spent. <laughs> I don't know how to say it. It's not that I just. I, it's not that I spent what I didn't have. It's just that the savings didn't have a budget, but the budget was there. You understand what I'm trying to say? Yeah, the the economy is horrible. Yep, <laughs> absolutely. Everything is three hundred and eighty-five dollars. He's sad because, well, he's mad because he doesn't know while we're in the store that he's not buying anything in. And I told him, you know, it has to be, don't try to run. Telling my, my, um, we finna family that you were mad that we were in the store that you weren't buying anything in. And then you got up and walked away. You didn't hear me? He said he didn't hear me. I ain't fooling with you, Drew. You want to say hi to my people? Come say hi to my folks. 
I'm not fooling. That is so me. This is Macy. That's my niece. Drew walked. <laughs> Drew walked away. All right, y'all. I'm gonna talk to y'all when I leave the store. Unless I buy something. If I buy something, then I'll come back on. But y'all probably just walked with me through the store. I come over here and look in these yeah. sections for like advent calendars, but they have gift sets, but because they're not advent calendars, you can look right through them and see what's in them. So it's not really helping me out any. We can always leave. Who? <laughs> me? You? Yes. What you mean? Oh no, see, I'm telling them because I'm trying to do advent calendars, me and grandma. But they don't have they don't have advent calendars, they're just gift sets. You know what an advent calendar is? So it's like we want to do the 12 days of Christmas. <laughs> 